I, I was looking at some of the videos, you know, because I keep moving this thing um, further and closer and stuff. And when I was looking at them, I was like, oh, I kind of like the ones where it's a little bit further, but I'm like, right, not in your face. I don't know. I'll probably switch it again. But I thought for now, I'm going to scoot back again. Um, oh, which by the way, this black cup, you know, that I, that I, I keep it with me all the time. It's what helps me. I have other cups too, but I like this one. It's all broken and stuff, but I like it. And they don't have, uh, Starbucks sells this expensive stuff and then you can't, um, they switch the lids all the time and you can't get replacement stuff. Um, but anyways, and it's corporate. Um, so I drink out of this cup all the time. So I keep water in it. And sometimes I make tea and then I'll uh, water it down a lot just to kind of give the flavor a little bit in the water. Because I drink a lot of water, a lot. And uh, so <laughs> the thing is, it's kind of gross. So, you know, I'll wash it, my cup out and stuff. And a couple weeks ago I was drinking and I was like, man, this tastes dirty. Um, you know, and it's really gross. Sometimes like if you go in and wash it, like I don't, I'm not like a, a clean freak kind of person, you know, like I'm not like scared of all the germs, uh, in all of this stuff, because I think it is what has also saved us. You know, they've got us so scared of everything. I just, I think our body can fight a lot more stuff. Like they're really, you know, they're creating the boy in the Bible with these people. So, um, uh, I, I thought, well, it tastes kind of dirty, and sometimes I'll open it, and it'll be kind of slimy inside, and it's like, ugh, what happens with water? No telling. I mean, there's no telling what they put in this to poison us. And, uh, but so, um, I cleaned it and stuff, and then I could just taste, um, uh, it still tasted funky. And so then I, um, got one of those straw cleaners, you know? And it looked like the straw looked clean and stuff, but I did one of these that's real narrow, kind of long, uh, um, like a brush kind of thing. And I stuck it down in there. Oh my God. It looked like something from the bottom of a pond came out of it. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> For all I know, I've got guppies in me. I don't know, but it was, it was so disgusting. It tastes cleaner, uh, but then it started tasting like soap. That's why I don't like to wash it all the time with soap because I really believe that they freaking give us detergents. Like we wash our hair with detergent and stuff, you know? It, there's nothing, um, and I don't get that, you know, like we're not that damn dirty. Just like we don't need clothes in between our clothes. Like, uh, I mean, if you're, if some people get really dirty, like, I've seen uh, mechanics after work. Uh, I've seen minors on TV after work. I mean, I know, like, there's some people who get real damn dirty. Oh, people who work at a foundry? Yeah, they get real damn dirty. Um, so, I'm sure farmers, you know, there's a lot of people. And I think when they originally started doing, like, long underwear and stuff like that, I mean, I saw a thing about uh, jeans, you know, that's a, like all people wore when they started wearing pants before. Like Levi's was around for a really long time. And, um, but they would, they would never wash them. You didn't wash your jeans. You know, that was, it was um, you just didn't wash them. You kept them, they would build up like a, like a, a barrier on them or something and people didn't wash them like we're the ones who wash 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 germs 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 but they didn't wash shit so i think their pants became so dirty that they had to wear like underpants under them so they wore long underwear and then plus i think to also keep warm that they found those but i think that that's how they started doing it to protect their skin from their clothes so how it turned into this like you need to wear underwear between you and your clothes I, I don't know, like, how did we, how did we decide that? I mean, I don't think that, I, to me, it's just, it's more stuff for them to sell us, which um, I just saw a thing that over the weekend that all of them, all of these people, uh, were their clones, I don't know what the hell, or is it just for a show? I mean, because they literally could have just, you know, dropped them use one of the fucking um frequency weapons on them 
You're going to take down a condo and kill all the citizens. We'll fucking take it and use it on them. It's their shit. So, yeah, all those motherfuckers were there. And they're in, um, the, I guess you can see it. I think it's the Daily Beast. And there's all pictures and everything. And they're just all smiling. They're so happy. They're just, oh, patting each other on the backs. So they're just, you know, they're the elite, guys. I mean, they're the special ones. I, I just think they should have um, they should have focused on that part of history when the peasants get their their um, their rakes and their axes and shit and take them down because yeah it doesn't go well for them. You can't sit up on top of a hill and think that the people below you are gonna you know how long will they go hungry? How long will they go with being controlled? How long will they put up with the bullshit? You know we've reached that that time now where no. We're not going to put up with the bullshit anymore. It's, it's friggin, um, it's, it's all done for them. It's just so weird, you know, like, oh, uh, people need to be locked down. Got the, den the dentist, so you gotta wear this. Oh my God. If I'm sick, why am I here then? You know, I, I'm a, a fucking adult. I know not to go out if I'm sick. I'm not going to go to the dentist because I, I mean, what has happened to people's logic? Yeah, wear, wear this thing, walk a couple steps, it's the same as restaurants, walk a couple steps, take it off and expose all your... Oh, and another thing that I had just heard too, and I hadn't even thought about this before, but um, Mel Kay was talking about it and um, she lived in a big city, you know, and um, that the... Uh, AA, especially if there's a big one or something that she would see at uh, this church or whatever, they closed all those down. and But they left all the liquor stores open. And she was saying, you know, we won't ever even get those numbers. How many people, you know, that depended on that to stay sober. I think, uh, you know, my daughter was in um, AA for a bit last year. And um, they were doing it on Zoom. So, you know, I, I think the people who were really serious and stuff you know that they were trying to do the best they could but you know it was very isolating it's very um you know I can't imagine having some of those more serious problems like that and being so isolated like I don't know what goes on in their head I don't know the voices that they're hearing and stuff like that I mean I feel fortunate I'm, I'm tapped into ones that try and make me feel good give me good direction but people who are not tapped into that you know, they're getting beat down all damn day. Like that, whatever you want to call it, the demons and devils, that, that negative dark energy is vicious, man. And then they get your ego to play along. They'll beat you down. They'll, they'll you know, bury you under a rock. They don't care. You know, that is, that, that feeds their energy. You feed their energy when you tap into that and you get suck into it. You know what I mean? The more worse you feel, the better they feel. So, yeah, it's best to, you know, know what the hell's going on in the real world. And, you know, just like I was talking about with the, you know, we have the TV screen, the giant mega screen that we have out in the middle of the park for everybody to pay attention as they distract you with their, you know, their show. Right now, they're in Sun, Sun Valley discussing, you know, We'll be what will we present next? <laughs> how we're gonna do this? Uh, how many people do you think we can kill there? Yeah, they, you know, I mean that's what they're they're working on presently is genocide of human beings. So, um, and turning this all into these little you know asexual no uh, no gender specific. Uh, just beat down, strung out, uh, willing to do whatever. It's, it's so crazy. But, you know, as they've got their little show going over here, and they're all playing over here on the, the real stage, and they're doing their real play, the, um, the problem is, is like, even when you divert your eyes from the big screen and you look over here, then it's so much depravity that it's like it's hard to watch you know it's it's 
it's, it's very sad and it, uh, you know, you, you find out how many people are being hurt and killed that didn't have to be. And it is, um, you know, it does that even, even watching the, their bullshit makes you feel hopeless and helpless, you know? And I, I mean, I know in my heart what's happening, you know, that this is all the ending of their stuff because it's this cosmic cycle that we're going into the age of Aquarius. It's, uh, you know, changes the whole dynamic on earth and changes the whole experience. That experience ended, it went through the whole Zodiac and it ended and now we're switching to this other one. And so I already know all that's going on and I do, you know, I do have a problem. I do look over the car wreck sometimes to see like, you know, how many are injured, like what's going on. And, um, it, but it's also like, that's punishing myself when I do, you know, it's not for my best mental health because it, it infuriates you, it makes you feel sad and bad and, you know, and it makes you frustrated with the people who don't know what's going on, that have no awareness, that just are just so blindly compliant that just want you to leave them alone so they can work, quit talking crazy talk, you know, I don't have time for your crazy. So, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, uh, that, that's rough. Um, but there was some, there were some other things. I want to talk about this whiny shit. I wanted to talk about some different things of like ways to notice like things that you could work on in yourself. Cause that's where we really need to focus is just on ourselves. Because in this transition, this is all about you, your, your soul discovering itself. You know, it's your consciousness understanding itself. So that's what's really going on. You know, all of this stuff that is happening in humanity to wake them up has got to play out in a lot of different ways to spark, you know, to spark some, some logic, to spark some like, uh, you know, the light bulbs got to come on and got to start being like, wait a minute, what? And uh, yesterday I heard somebody saying that because, you know, humans don't know their own power that, um, you know, they're using our manifestation skills to direct what they want to play out. And that's what I said, is that you're manifesting all the time and you don't even realize. And it, it can be used as a weapon when you don't have any clue what's going on and it's being directed by them right now. But when you take power of that tool and um, it, it changes your life, you know, right now we're just caught up, you know, in this web of the matrix, you know, and a lot of people are trying to, you know, like when a spider catches you and it puts you in that little thing to save you for later, you know, we're all in those everywhere. People are breaking free of those. And, um, you know, some people are going to find out how close they really were to be in the next meal. And, um, you know, it, the whole thing is, is, uh, um, in this time of so much, uh, you know, frustration and anger and, you know, all of this stuff that's coming out is to be able to find yourself and stay centered is, you know, it's a major blessing. And um, to spend your time, you know, focusing on what you can do to heal and grow for yourself is going to, you know, catapult you into the you know the new age are uh, people don't like the new age if you know the marketing that you know is the demon agenda but the golden age the age of aquarius the time of humanity the time in history where we get to be abundant and we get to you know the earth gets to be our playground that's why it's called heaven on earth it's all, you know, the same thing. It's this time that we're going into. But all of that stuff, the yuck doesn't get to go with us. So it has to be exposed. People have to see it. And yeah, it's very frustrating when it just feels like, you know, why aren't people just paying attention? It seems so simple. But it is really, oh, it was um, Michael Jaco yesterday that I heard talking to. And he what he was in the CIA. He was a Navy SEAL and stuff. So he has like still people he knows and was still involved with some of this stuff. And like when I was talking about what they did with Charles Manson 
and the farm and stuff. Like the CIA was, you know, testing uh, drugs on these people. And then when they were about to get caught, they had to throw them under the bus and they had to, you know, say, oh, this guy, it was this guy, he did it. And, um, you know, that's just how horrible they are. I mean, that guy was disposable. He was a little petty thief, hippie, you know, they didn't give a shit about him. They, they didn't see him as that, you know, what use does he have other than to be their scapegoat? But any of us can be their pansy at any, uh, any time. It's called a pansy, right? No, it's a patsy. Yeah. The, anybody can be at any time. And, um, you know, that, we are disposable to them. We don't matter to them. But he was talking about the um, mind control stuff and the programming and stuff that they do on the TV and how what they've done, the, the damage to so many people's psyche and stuff, that's part of the crimes of humanity. But that is what we're seeing right now is the people who are the most locked in. And it's just so weird because I have so many in my family and it just, it, it just makes me really sad for them. Um, but yeah, it's, they've got so, so many people so locked in. So it's not like they're not paying attention. They're paying attention. They're just paying attention to the wrong thing, you know? And some of them are paying attention to nothing. But any, when they do pay attention, they're paying attention to the wrong thing, you know? Like, somebody sends them a Facebook uh, um, article, you know, it's bullshit. Somebody sends them a Google article. It's bullshit. You know, all the stuff that they are doing. Apple, Apple news. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go to Apple for my news. Yeah. I don't trust. <laughs> there's, a, there's not anyone out there who is, um, involved. They're, they're all the tentacles of the beast. You know, the beast has got his tentacles all over in our life. And the whole thing is meant just to control us, oppress us, enslave us, use us. And, um, you know, and it's it's everywhere. Like, there's nothing with <clears throat> social media, big tech, mainstream media, the, the, the drug dealers, all of it. <laughs> The, the people who go and be licensed by these people to care for us and take an oath. They've taken an oath. I think their oath is like, I will use these lab rats to the best of my ability. <laughs> you know, when I was talking to my mom, because my mom today, she's going to go get her eye shot. And she was just so stressed out, you know. Oh my God, I got to go tomorrow and get my eye shot. And it's like, don't go. Why are you going? I, when I went in, whatever it was, it was so since my brain injury. So it was right after my brain injury. The first time I went to go get glasses. And um, well, I already had uh, glasses, but I needed the reader things, you know. I mean, I didn't have glasses. I had Lasix, but I needed the reader things. And so I went to the eye doctor and they told me that there was something wrong with my eyes. I needed to see a specialist, that there was some kind of thing going on with my optic nerve and so you know I didn't know I went and at first they started telling me I had some deformity that I was born with and stuff and then you know my mom says you know that abortion pill I took it's destroyed you so right away I'm just like well it's a damn abortion pill <laughs> it's damaged my eyes and so um then I, um, you know, I'm going and then I start hearing, I have to keep going and going and going. Like they got to constantly test me. They got to do this, try that, try this. And then I started hearing from doctors when, you know, I mean, not all doctors listen to you. When you're doing their history, they're thinking about the, you know, what they're going to do their wife later or whatever with their girlfriend. They're not thinking about what the fuck you're talking about. And, um, so, uh, there was one or two and I had to see a lot. It was one or two who caught on like that I had a brain injury and they asked me about it. Like, well, what happened? And when I explained it, they said, oh, well, that's what happened to your eyes. And they explained how the fluid, you know, no fluid that that's what happened, blah, blah, blah. And, um, but it's given me what they call glaucoma. And so they, um, you know, keep having me do all these tests and bullshit and stuff. 
and then uh, they're going to do more treatments and drops and all this stuff. And they're telling me, you know, my vision's closing in and I know something's up because I keep falling. <laughs> it's like, how do I keep falling? Why do I? And then when I saw that my peripheral is gone down here, you know, it's like glaucoma closes in like a tunnel. So you start losing your peripheral. That's what bothers me when I'm driving too, because cars just suddenly are there. And, um, but I was tripping. So I knew, you know, when they're doing these tests and telling me my vision is closing in that they were right. So then you're willing to be like, okay, well, what can we do? <laughs> you know, I don't want to be blind. And, um, so they you know, well, you gotta try these drops. You gotta try this. And that, you know, nothing's working. Nothing's working. And then, oh, well, you know, we're going to laser your eyes. That's, that's what works for everybody. Well, after they have done all this stuff, now I don't know what they've done to the inside of my eyes, but can't fucking see out of them because they are making my eyes worse and causing me to go more blind faster. Because <clears throat> now not only is it closing in, but they've got all this shit in my eyes that I can't see past. And, uh, you know, like just looking at this is like a big old fucking blur. And um, so it's just, oh. They practice on you. I mean, they've tried to kill me. They've tried to blind me. They've tried to poison me. And uh, they've tried to kill me. Like, the medical establishment is not there for your health. I'll guarantee it. I uh, And I was a nurse. <laughs> so, I'm telling you. They're not there for you. And uh, they show that every day. Start paying attention. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Because I'm going to talk about something about empowering yourself and stuff like that. So, I'll be back in a sec.